metacognition, um, as defined uh, by Flavel, was really uh, thinking about thinking. There are two components of, uh, of metacognition. Knowledge of cognition, which contains um, declarative, procedural, and conditional information. Declarative in, I know what that is. It is uh, addition um, in terms of math. So conditional is, I know when to apply additional properties. And uh, the procedural is, I know the procedures to apply uh, addition. Um, what we're finding is the power is on the other side of metacognition, which is the regulation of cognition. Regulation of cognition has five components. Uh, information management, uh, reflection, uh, evaluation, uh, monitoring, um, and another one I'm forgetting. But, uh, but for the most part, I'll think of it here in a second. But for the most part, uh, those are components which, uh, by the way, uh, are hard to separate. But those are the ones that are showing to be very successful for an individual engaged in a work task. You know, am I able to manage my performance? Am I able to uh, reflect on what my performance is? And am, am I able to monitor effectively, which we're not able to do? At Tier 1, um, one of, the thing, one of the things that separates us or differentiates our, our groups is we are very metacognitively aware. I mean, all of us are. The creative group, for example, um, is metacognitive in not only are they managing what uh, information is going to be applied for learning, they're reflecting on the audience almost always and, and on the learning goal. They're evaluating their performance relative to time, budget, you know, effort to get these things done. But they're all also um, evaluating their, am I using the right tools to get this job done? Am I being creative in that sense? The regulation of cognition is where creativity and innovation occurs.